Hey watch friends, today we're going to take a look at something a little different. We're going to be doing an unboxing, but it's actually not of a complete watch. This is going to be a kit watch. Specifically, this is one that was sent in to the channel from DIY Watch Club. And what we're going to be looking at is what they refer to as the Expedition version. This company, I did reach out to me and did send this into the channel as far as for full disclosure for me to check out and I don't have to return it, which makes sense because I'm going to be building the watch here. But that being said, if you're not familiar with these, this is kind of an interesting approach that they have going on. Let me go and bust out a knife. All right. Uh, with, uh, with this, rather than actually selling you just a standard uh, off-the-shelf watch, they actually have a multitude of different options that are out there that you can build your own watch and they sell you everything that you need to do so. So whether you are a blossoming hobbyist or alternatively you've uh, been uh, into watch modding for a while, they have everything that you need to get started in one place. So they sent in a couple different items today. We're going to be looking at the, a quick look at the expedition. And I wanted to do this as an unboxing just to see exactly what you get when you uh, order from a company like this. Cause I'm to be honest with you, not entirely certain. And I've been curious about this myself. So hopefully we'll both learn something together here today. This first piece, this is an extra part, I believe. So as you can see, DIY watch club. And then inside, this is, I believe, going to be a case cushion. That's what I'm guessing here, because I know that's they sent one of those along for me. So what they have, what's nice, yeah, so you can see nice standard case cushion for this. And this is an extra part, doesn't come, but they do sell this. And it looks like it's just fairly standard as far as construction, you can see appears to be like a vinyl and cushioned there. And then this has what looks like a, a sticky uh, base to it to help hold that in place. And that's of course for doing anything for the, uh, the watch. I will say at the outset, I am not a, a versed watch modder. I've done a little bit of tinkering here and there. That being said, it's going to be interesting. And what I plan on doing is I wanted to look at this today with you all and to kind of get an idea as to what exactly you get or how these ship out to you if you are interested or if you've been curious about picking one of these kind of kits up. But what I'm going to do is once I actually get this assembled, which it will probably take a little while, my schedule's been pretty busy here. But once I get this uh, put up, put together, I'll actually do a follow-up video. It'll be sort of a watch, a watch, a watch review, but most importantly, I just want to give my feedback on what the experience was like for somebody who isn't an experienced watch modder. You know, how hard was it to go through? Did the instructions work well? All those things. And of course, we'll look at my handiwork. So the overall uh, shipping for this, they have, like I said, a lot of different models that are available. So you have different options. They do also have different packages that you can get. So you can actually get uh, the standard with no kits to where it's just the components to build the watch. If you had built another one already or you already have uh, tools, certainly I don't expect these are going to be like Virgion quality tools or anything like that, um, but I'm sure they'll be just fine for these purposes. But that being said, you can get without the tools. You can also get uh, with different packaging with the tools, just a standard cardboard, or I believe what they sent me. So this is the nylon version. And then you can get a professional kit as well, which that just comes with a little bit of fancier tools and a little bit of a fancier kit for that. So here is the one we got. So this, as you can see, it's a nice, looks like a, a, a nylon and it's got a zipper pouch here. Got a little carrying handle on that and everything. So this should be a pretty cool little, uh, little kit as far as future tools. And that's one of the things I do like about this is if you are new to this, it's kind of cool. Not only do they give you uh, the options there, but then you'll have everything you need as far as the basics of doing things. So let's go ahead and we'll pan around this. I don't want to make this one too long, but I do want to take a look just to see kind of what we get here. All right. So we've got, uh, they included discount card, which is nice for future purchases. You can see here, this is the Expedition series, and we'll look at it, of course, as we go through. But this one, it's kind of like a Rolex Explorer as far as the overall style of, uh, of this, uh, this watch. And it's going to be coming in at a 38 millimeter case, uh, but we'll look at all that, uh, that stuff as well. So you can see here just some different uh, pieces as far as information there. All right, we've got, looks like a little holder of some form here. I'm um, to be honest with you, I'm gonna have to research on all this stuff. So please don't uh, blame me too much because I don't know what the heck I'm looking at for uh, for some of this stuff until I get into uh, the detailed instructions. And that might just be for uh, for instructions or for even holding your smartphone so you can watch their, uh, their videos for that, though I might've just made that up. All right, so then at the top here, we have, as you can see, the case itself. And this just gives you an idea, you know, how things are actually going to ship. I, of course, don't want to unpackage these because I'm not in a dust-free environment, unfortunately, with dogs in far too, uh, too much of a dusty area. But here you go. So you can see, just looking through, this gives you an idea as far as the overall case profile. It looks like we're going to have brushing on the side, 
Um, we have uh, polished accents, as you can see, around the bezel. The case on this, as I um, started to mention, is 38 millimeters for the case. This does have a standard uh, lug size of 20 millimeters for that, and we'll get the rest of the dimensions for the review. But as you can see, already has the crown screwed in. I believe this is a screw down crown, but we'll confirm all of that in the full video. But I don't want to spend too much time on any of these little details, because like I said, this is more than anything else just to get an idea as to how this stuff ships out and what exactly you can expect if you do order a watch from a DIY watch club or otherwise. Okay. So then in here, as you can see, we've got the movement itself. The movement in this is uh, from Seiko. It's a TMI, I believe, um, is uh, as far as which is Seiko. Uh, this is an NH72, which if I'm not mistaken, this is it is a standard NH variant. So it's either an NH35 or possibly an NH38 because I don't think this particular one has a date on it, um, which certainly you can see because it's going to be skeletonized and everything for that. And that's one of the cool parts for this. I was able to pick which particular one I wanted and I waited out uh, to uh, get the um, skeletonized version with the sapphire dial. I waited for that to come back in stock. Let's go ahead and set that aside. So let's see what we've got next. All right, so this one's cushioned. And then in here, okay, we've got a little, all right, so it looks like we've got tiny, tiny little pins there. It'd help if I actually get those on camera for you, but hey, I can see them. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> All right, and then in here, okay, so this is going to be the dial. And as you can see, this is one of the sapphire dials. And it looks like, if unless I'm seeing this uh, incorrectly through this packaging, it looks like that might be like a smoked sapphire dial. And you can see it does already have the marker supplied, so that's nice. I don't have to mess with any of that. This does have, I believe, BGW9 uh, applied as far as for uh, all those markers. So this does have loom and everything for it, but that gives you an idea of what that looks like. Can't wait to see this all put together. I'm actually looking forward to this. I think it'll be kind of a fun little adventure to go through and to share my experience with you guys and gals. So I'm gonna set that aside. Let's get the next box. All right, so opening up the next one, got another little envelope. Let's see what we've got in this one. It's like Christmas day here. Okay, so now we have the handset and this gives you an idea as to what these hands look like see those there which it looks like I have four total hands oh wait no here's yeah I've got six hands I'm honestly not certain what's going on with uh, with that it looks like I've got two hours two minutes and two seconds so it might be for a do-over I'm not sure if that picked up well let me put my hand behind that so you can hopefully make this out with these still being in the package I just don't want to get dust and fingerprints all over everything and give myself more cleanup work to have to do. Okay, so there we have the, the main components. Now let's check out some of this. So we've got this here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's movement holder. What what the heck we've got going on for uh, for that, uh, that piece there. So we'll check that out more. We've got the straps that this comes with. So this particular one comes, I believe this is an FKM, but it's definitely, it's a rubber strap. And you can see it does have quick release spring bars on there. So that'll be a nice little touch. And then we just have a variety of tools. I don't want to go through everything and make this uh, too uh, too long, but you can see, you know, you've got looks like screwdrivers. You got all the different things as far as setting tools, tweezers. Uh, so you've got there for setting your hands. You've got a nice uh, wood wood dial for no uh, no marring. Looks like you've got your uh, finger condoms going there. All right, and then we've got one of the uh, one of the air blowers to get rid of of dust. It's going to be a loop. Yeah, so it looks like we've got a loop down in here. That's a nice touch as well. So you can see, got that going. And then, let's see what we've got in our final pouch here. Okay, and then case back um, tool as well. What I'm actually going to do um, to, uh, to keep this authentic, I do actually have uh, some tools as well. And I, to be honest, I have some higher end uh, tools for some different pieces just in case I ever did want to get into watch modding. That being said, I'm going to assemble this using everything specifically from the kit so I can give more accurate feedback um, using their their tools for everything. So I'm very glad to uh, have all of the branded pieces and uh, all of that so I can give a more complete ex experience as far as what one could expect. 
So there you have it. This is all I wanted to do for uh, for today is just to give you a kind of a first look as to what it's actually like to open one of these kits up, what the tools look like, those kind of things. But then once we have it together, I'll give you the real feedback in the follow-up video. So I hope this has been a fun little uh, adventure for you. If you did enjoy this, please do hit that like button. Additionally, if you haven't done so already, please do smash that subscribe button. Of course, I'll have this video coming. I've actually got a pack of, uh, a, a stack of unbox, uh, unboxing packages over here. Some really cool uh, watches that I have coming up. So do stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.